Welcome to Real Physics. Today I will talk about the uselessness of CERN and the Large Hadron Collider. Why? Because the news are full of stories that CERN restarts at record energy and that begs the question, what will they find out? Well, nothing. And I would love to comment in more detail, but almost everything has been said in a wonderful rant by Sabine Hausenfelder entitled Particle physicists continue to empty promises and <laughs> listen to what she says. Particle physicists are wasting your money. Their so-called scientific papers are just a sales pitch for new colliders. They are doing unscientific guesswork because they have a hard time to understand the basic principles of scientific methodology. And their main idea is going to higher energies. Then the, she goes ahead explaining why the supersymmetry is bogus and uh, tells how the main adherents of this theory, David Gross and Edward Witten, tell a lot of nonsense, which is pretty much in line with my own experience while talking to them. And uh, there is nothing as a guaranteed uh, result as they claim. Uh, mainly because they have no idea what dark matter is after all. And if you look at the track record of particle physicists, they have done zillions of wrong predictions. And uh, it's not that it is uh, a problem if scientists are wrong, but she says it's shameful that they don't tell you what they have learned from being wrong. And they refuse to learn and they just continue their group think and and ask for more money that's how the situation is it's a very funny video but i have a question here i have one big question when do you think all this starts is the problem the uh, planned future circular collider or was there already a problem with the large hadron collider or earlier colliders <laughs> i think well almost almost every reasonable person agrees that particle physics has a problem okay but um it's it's hard to identify uh where uh, when did, did this fantasy land start and i think uh if you want to understand this you have to go to history look at the history of the standard model and there are very good books about uh uh, the de developments, uh, Noble Dreams by Gary Tobbs, Peter Gallison, which is a little bit more technical, and first of all, Andrew Pickering's Constructing Quarks. And I read these books and was impressed, and I think I have identified a kind of pattern. Um, particle physicists, they have uh, what you could call, the, there is always a signal illusion, okay? Uh, they are fooling themselves with excessive filtering, triggering and background removal and that necessarily leads to, um, to poorly specified signals. Uh, sooner or later you will detect something. Okay? So uh, particle physics is uh, trapped in a kind of hamster wheel um, which consists of developing multiple theoretical fashions too vague to be scrutinized with no quantitative predictions first of all then just letting particles collide and accelerate is declaring poorly understood signal as evidence for a fashionable new particle filtering this new particle and call it a future background and then build a new collider at higher energy of course and as a bonus uh, it takes a long time so 10 to 20 years a generation of skeptics has died that will question this entirely absurd methodology so my suspicion is that this happened already in the last round with the so-called discovery of the higgs boson I think a poorly specified signal or artifact was declared as the missing particle. And you know, you know why? Because who has convinced of the, us of the existence of the Higgs bosons? The very same people who wrote the bogus publication that Sabine Hassenfelder dissects in her video. Okay. 
So my conclusion is uh, particle physics as practiced since 1930 is an entirely futile enterprise. And um, yeah, but what about the future? <laughs> Will they find out anything relevant? No, of course not. And I think Sabine Hossenfeld is also convinced that uh, they will find out nothing. But the question is, will they declare they have found out nothing? I am not so sure. Because the problem persists. This hamster wheel, this uh, cycle, this mechanism is still in place. And I will venture a prediction here. I already did a couple of years ago. After carefully removing the background of all known signals, someday at some accelerator, at some high energy, some tiny, tiny signal will be discovered that for which the only reasonable explanation is. And then there are just lots of nonsensical proposals. A second, third or Susie Higgs or Susie uh, Higgs set. And Axion, Gluino, Futino, Fotuzzo, Foticello. There is a never ending series of Italian diminutives uh, particle physicists like to indulge with. The lightest supersymmetric particle of fourth quark generation, mini black hole, extra dimension. Unfortunately, there is unlimited nonsense in theoretical physics. And, uh, well, sorry if uh, I confront you with this maybe harsh reality. Um, you can find more in detail my arguments in my book, The Higgs Fake, which is quite topical, I think. And uh, there is also the book, Bankrupting Physics, how today's top scientists are gambling away their credibility. And you find two and more talks in my channel here that deals with fundamental physics. If you liked the video, don't uh, forget to give it a thumb up and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in really fundamental questions.